Hello, friends, family, brothers, and sisters. Um, I'm back. I hope now I can get back on my regular schedule. First and foremost, y'all, we have 22 vets in this country take their lives every day. Anything above zero is simply unacceptable. Um, I'm going to jump on here real quick. It's Saturday. Um, so, well... Got a breeze blowing, messing me up now all of a sudden. Ooh, there we go. Happy Fired Up Saturday. Um, I want to thank all the all all my brothers and sisters that did fat wood fires for me and the healing prayers and all the good vibes and wishes. Um, me and my mama are finally over the COVID. Um, it kicked our butt. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um. I got a couple of mail calls. Well, I got three, and I didn't bring one out with me. I'm just, I'm just trying to hurry up and get a video in. Let y'all know I'm still alive and kicking. Um, I got a birthday card from Uncle Al over at Die Bullfrog 79, and I want to tell Uncle Al I appreciate the card. It was very nice, pretty, and I appreciate your prayers and your continued prayers. Um, I also want a giveaway that... Uh, Mr. Tommy, formerly known as Open Air Fish Market, the Enduring Patriot now, had a Freedom uh, Fire giveaway. And I was one of the lucky winners of winning two different knives. One's a neck knife and one's a pocket knife. And I got a cheat. They're both, um, they're both uh, CRKTs. I got the cheat sheet out so I can tell y'all the names of them because I couldn't remember it. The neck knife is a spew eight, oh, spew and mini, my list, I think is how it's pronounced. And the other one is a Pazada, P A Z O D A. Um, but yeah, I want to give away that Mr. Tommy done. And this is the neck knife, it's got a Kydex sheath. And it's got the lanyard. It's razor sharp, straight out the box. Isn't that cool? Nice. Fits my hand perfect too. I like the this because it keeps your finger from going forward. But that I know I'm not doing it justice. I'm trying, y'all. This is the Kydex sheet that it goes in and it locks. It don't come out. It's in there. The next one is the um, the pocket knife. It's like chrome on this side. And I'd call that like a graphite gray. Kind of looks like our Ford Ranger, the color gray it is. And it's straight up razor sharp out of the box. That's a nice knife as well. But yeah, that works good. Um, got another mail call from our sister. Oh, speaking of which, before I switch over, y'all. Mr. Tommy, this was in the box with this. I'm not, I'm, I'm assuming it's like a belt loop or something. I'm not 100% sure, and it don't show it on the paper, how this and this intertwines. So if anybody knows... I appreciate it. It looks like a belt loop. Maybe it's a belt loop and this goes on here like this. Maybe. But um, I'm not 100% sure. So um, if anybody knows, please let me know. It's got the little screws. But that came in the box with this knife. So I'm not, like I say, I think it might be a belt loop where you can attach it to a belt and do it that way. But if I'm wrong, correct me. I, 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 can, I can handle it. Um, got another mail call from my sister. Shil oh, well, of course, I get the Shalisa shell. What I'm carrying today is my CRKT pillar that was sent to me from Scab over at Choir Boys Cutlery. That's my EDC for today. And our sister Shalisa Shell, as y'all all know, the Fatwood Queen, she sent me out some smell of vision samples of Fatwood. And it's, it's Maya dust. 
different packs of Maya dust. Oh, sorry, y'all, my nose is itching. Um, this one here is from a Jack Pine. Um, of course, we got her sticker. This one here is from a Australian Black Pine. There's several in here, y'all. Uh, this one here is a Scotch Pine. And this one here is yellow pine. This one here is red pine. Hope I'm y'all being able to see it. This is Scotch pine high turpentine tree trunk Maya dust. This one here is from a white pine. This one here is from Linda Campbell. If y'all don't know Linda Campbell, she makes some beautiful art with some fatwood. She um she don't have that many subscribers, so I've been you know trying to get her name out there, but um she's making some beautiful beautiful art out of uh, fatwood. Well, she's a, she's as bad as um Shalisa Shell about going fatwood hunting. I don't know I don't know they run in a close race in a tie there. But uh, Linda Campbell's Fatwood is what I put in for the search bar, and her channel will come right up. But um, she had done, um, I think it was a ferro rod handle, don't don't quote me, for Shalisa Shell. And um, she's got a piece of Fatwood. I think she just, if I remember right, last video I seen, she was using it to, to turn a bowl with. And uh, she called it a pork belly. And um, so this, this, this packet here is from Linda Campbell's Pork Belly Fatwood from Alabama. That's some of her Maya dust. Oh, uh, let's see. This one here is red cedar. You can tell the difference, like day and night, can't you? This one here is Fatwood Queen Fire Disc. I think that might be some resin. Smells like a candle shop. Scent, oh no, these are scent samples. Okay, I got you. So these are scent samples. And I want to thank my sister Shalisa Shell. Y'all check her out. Check out Linda Campbell. Like I say, go in the search bar and just type in Linda Campbell Fatwood and her channel will come up. Um, Mark over at Eat Carbs Outdoors. I want to give him a shout out. He's always doing shout outs for all of us. And I'm just doing these off the top of my head, y'all. I'm just trying to get some in. Um, Guy Bullfrog 79, Uncle Al, Shalisa Shell, SD Mount Man. Um, y'all, I, I, something else I wanted to bring to y'all's attention. I don't know if it's just me having the issue or if anybody else. I know I've, I've been telling y'all about how when I go on YouTube, you know, I'm not being notified of all my people I sub to. I'm not being notified about it. Well, now. It's like I'm not being notified of any. Like everybody's in YouTube jail or something. Or as Uncle Al says, in the ghetto or whatever he calls it. But I'm physically having to go in and search, type in names of people I've been following since I started my channel and before I started my channel. And I'm not being notified at all. It's showing me stuff that I'm not even subscribed to, stuff I'm not even interested in. And I go in the search bar and I put up like survival, type in survival skills or bushcraft. You know, and it'll bring up stuff, but it brings stuff up from like five, six years ago, and it shows me people that I'm not even subscribed to. So, um, I don't know what's going on, but I'm still trying. To, like I say, if you see that see that I like the video, it's because I'm watching it from the TV. I can't comment. Um, I do all my videos and my comment. Like when people do lives, if I happen to join their live, I'm doing the comments from my phone, and I'm watching the live on my TV, so, um, I don't know what's going on, um, but it's driving me crazy, because I can't find my people, um, without, you know, manually typing you in, so, Brother Bill's passing by, I see the plane coming in right now, but, um, I just wanted to holler, holler at y'all, let you know I'm alive, and I'm doing much better, Mama is too, and we appreciate the prayers, and the healing fires, and you know, and I know, I, I don't know if we're under a burn van or not. It's just been so hot, y'all. It's just miserable to try to even come outside and do a fire. So, 
I sent some of this hot weather we're having, like in the high 90s, feels like triple digits. I sent some over to SD Mountain Man. Um, he told me I could have it back. That's what he told me in this Fatwood Friday fire. I, I'm just looking forward to fall weather. So, um, but y'all, I just wanted to jump on here and let y'all know I appreciate everything y'all do for me. And um, uh, also, um, I think it's coming up this week or next week. If you're familiar with the knife community, you know Scab from Choir Boys Cutlery and Outdoors. Um, they're they're doing a um, raffle for Donnie B all day. He's also a brother of the knife community. He's got a he's also a vet. He um I can't remember exactly how he worded it, but he's dealing with something a medical issue to where basically his his body's not rebuilding his blood in his body so he's having to go through some major uh medical stuff and i know he's selling some knives to help pay for his treatment and scab and joe are both um doing um a raffle where you you go and make a donation to donnie b all day um i would say go to choir boys cutlery or joe by um to get the more the more detailed like the um paypal account but you make a donation to donnie b all day you screenshot it then you email it to scab and um they're going to be giving away some very nice knives um it's five dollars for raffle so every five dollars you donate you're in the raffle to win some of those really cool knives so if you're interested in that, and I'm sure D-Bad would greatly appreciate it. He's a good brother of the community as well. Um, you know, that would be gratefully helped out too. So, um, as I say, you know, um, I won the giveaway from Mr. Tommy, formerly known as Open Air Fish Market, now known as the Enduring Patriot. Um, I like them. They're cool. They're really cool. Um, Shalisa Shiar, greatly appreciate the samples of the smell of vision. Um, but yeah, um, I've drug it out long enough, y'all. I'm free handing it. I think we might get some rain. I'm not going to say we are. I'm going to say we might because it clouded up like this the other day like it was going to storm. Then the sun come right back out. So anyway, y'all, I just want to let you know I'm back. Hopefully now I can get back to doing my thing. Um, but yeah, with that, y'all, tell somebody you love them because we ain't promised more. We ain't promised five minutes from now. Don't have no regrets. Stay humble and kind. Until my next one, I love y'all, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.